Hey, heads up to this five minute quickly, quickly, quickie. Who creates your reality? It used to be a hippie thing. Oh, you create your reality. But who really creates it? What are the effects? Who's taking responsibility? It's only a five minute quickie, but it's taken a little bit longer. But it's something I think that when we think about it, will make the difference that makes a difference. Have a listen after this. Hey, welcome to the Personal Development Unplugged podcast with me, Paul Clough. And this is an FMQ, a five-minute quickie podcast, which never lasts five minutes. It always goes a little bit longer. But it's a chance for you and I just to muse, to think of a subject, to talk about it for a few minutes, and then spend time thinking, seeing how it would change our life if we maybe developed it a little deeper. And maybe sometimes these five minute quickies will go into a longer podcast where we can dive deeper and produce processes, hypnosis processes, NLP processes. Don't worry about the names. They're just processes for making our life and your life absolutely better. Getting rid of anxiety, fear, all those other hang ups and issues that we have and have the life we deserve and make dreams come into reality quicker, bigger, better than you could ever dream of. But they're the longer podcasts. And this is a five minute quickie where we break down the complicated into simple because in simplicity, there's genius. And that's what we do here. So if you want to just think for a little while, see what happens, see what resonates inside you. And when it does, you go change the world. This is Personal Development Unplugged with Paul Clough. In simplicity, there is genius. In simplicity, there is genius. Hey, and I always start with hey, don't I? Why do I start with hey? Hello. Hello, my friend. How you doing? An FMQ time to muse. And this one is all about, well, it used to be really hip, I guess. Hip at one time in, in the... Uh, new agey type thing where you know you create your reality and the thing is it used to be i used to think about that i think well really do we because if we would and we could wouldn't we just snap our fingers and create it in a way that everything was rosy and maybe if we thought about it long enough we mused about it maybe we could so i think we can certainly change it that quickly. But the thing is, this has got me thinking about this, you see, because if you, that's right, you don't, don't own your reality, don't create your reality, who does? Yeah, who does? Now, I was thinking about that because people do try to take control of you, I guess, in some ways. And in fact, over the last few years, a lot of people have said how we're being controlled, manipulated. And that's on the big scale, but conspiracy and all that stuff, but even just going back to all the noise that's going around. We've talked about it before, and I did a longer podcast called Swear Word, The Noise. F the noise. And there is so much of it going around, people trying to take your attention and change your mind. You know, you think of the news. How positive is it? And how, how is it sometimes the most biggest thing in the news, the most negative thing, disappears after a month and something else negative comes in? It's all negative, or appears to be. Very few uh, positive things going on. Think about what else you're hearing. Maybe social media. Social media, Cluffy, really? Isn't this on social media? Well, it is, but it's for the, for the good, for the good. You see, social media with its algorithms, what are they trying to do? You know, it's run by, I guess, the advertiser to make money. And is it done purely for our benefit? Or is it to control our spending or what we look at? Certainly it's very difficult once you get into that thing. And then it, you know, they call it doom scrolling now. 
doom, doom scrolling. And I think those type of things create your reality. Because what goes in, you begin to focus on. And when you focus on it, that's all you see in the world. What you focus on is what you get. And if it's negative, we tend to see the negative and we feel the negative. And then everything spirals downwards. And I was to muse another way. Because if other people are in control of your, your, your reality, then we should now say no, no more. I'm going to take control of my reality. I'm going to create it because I'm going to create it by, by reading, learning, and being the person I want to be. I want to learn how to be a better person. I've got a longer podcast coming up, and even this might be even generate a longer podcast about my experiences of what I've been doing wrong, about setting my life straight. That'll be interesting, a bit personal. But just if you think about it, and this is what I'd like you to do, because this is what I do, I try to do, is just muse on if I could be in the present moment, I get to choose. I get to choose. No one else. I'm responsible. And then at cause. We say in RLP, when you're at cause, you are taking responsibility and creating the effects. And to me, the effects are the reality you live in. Yes, it might not go all lovely, dovey, straight away, but it will certainly change. You will change yourself. You will change the people around you because you'll infect and affect them with good stuff. You'll find synchronicity. It just seems to happen by coincidence. <laughs> and it'll be as if you're just getting lucky because you get to see and experience better stuff. And the more we control that, what we want to do, what we want to listen to, when we set our intention to create the best reality for us, it's got to have an effect on little old planet Earth, isn't it? Which is I love. Because to me, and again, it's in NLP, and probably everywhere else too. What is ecology? Well, to me, it's good for you. Things that are good for you, good for the people around you, and good for little old planet Earth. And if you can tick those three boxes, things are going to get good. So that's what I just like, whether you want to join me in musing. Because even when we muse together, we'll connect, I believe. We'll connect those good thoughts, and maybe we'll get better thoughts. Something to think about. Maybe just have that little notebook beside you, your, your dream book your journal, whatever it is. And let's just start to take more control of our lives. Decide, take responsibility, create the effects we want to, to live in. Anyway, that's a muse. Longer podcast coming up. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for your time. Do you like these videos, by the way? Because I know the production is bonky. Hopefully the colours in the background are a little bit lighter now. <laughs> But I know it's bonky, but the messages, I hope, are well, they're certainly sincere and with a good intention. And I hope I can communicate a few thoughts to get us all thinking. If there's anything you want, want me to talk about, think about, please send me an email, feedback at personaldevelopmentunplugged.com. Until the next time, my friend, thank you so much for your time. Yes, you, so much for your time. I'll see you in a little while. Bye-bye now. It's time to fly. Warning. You are now leaving the unplugged mind of Paul Clough. It's time to fly on your own. Be brave, my friend. Personal Development Unplugged.